Taking some of those great catchphrases that we all remember from those outrageous, unbelievable DVDs and things that, that's literally, if you're in bodybuilding and you haven't watched those folks, you're missing out. I mean, you have to see some of the training that Ronnie did. And th this was real training, Ronnie. Right? Some of this was mere weeks out from the Olympics. You didn't slack off as you got closer to the show. Not at all. I believe, I believe if you want to go in there and you want to be the best and, and, and do the very best, you have to continue doing what you did when you started getting ready for the show. And I took it all the way to the show. Wow. Ronnie, uh, just give us one. I mean, you obviously tour all over the place. You've got your own supplement company now and, and you're doing very well. I understand it. Congratulations on that. Um, but you tour all over the place. You're in gyms all over the country. When you're in a gym, do you actually hear anybody else doing your invitations? <laughs> no, no, because I started them. So <laughs> when I started them, it just, it just something that was just being done. You know, it wasn't no phenomenon. You know, it wasn't no big thing or nothing like that. Cause I was the only one doing it. Well, uh, because you're a businessman. I was the only one in the gym too. You gotta remember, I, I, I gotta point that out too. Uh, it's so hot in the gym that nobody else wanted to work out at the time that I worked out. So I was in the gym by <laughs> That's the reason why I, I, I started coming up with those things. I was in the gym one day, it's hot. You know, I'm tired. I gotta go to work too, cause you know, after I finish training, I have to go to work every day. So. I'm working out, and I'm by myself, and nobody else in the gym, and I'm hot, I'm tired. Like, God, I gotta do something to get myself fired up. So I just started talking to myself. <laughs> so, so, you know, I didn't want to like, sound like I was just having a conversation, so I just started yelling out stuff. And I was picking up the weight, and it was heavy. So I got, I was like, oh, let me psych myself out. So I said, heavy weight? No, no that ain't heavy, that's lightweight! <laughs> it's not on. So every time I go to pick up the heavyweight, I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta sign this in my hand. Lightweight! <laughs> Me and that got old. So I, I had to come up with something else. So I, I like a lightweight. Ain't nothing but a peanut. That's ain't nothing yeah. but a peanut. Yeah! You know, every stand got old, so I had to come up with something new. You know, Good old buddy, chicken. You know, Everybody want to be a body builder, everybody want to get this heavy ass weight, you know. <laughs> Anything I can come up with, that's why I use myself like that. Well, nice thing is, folks, because Ronnie is an enterprising businessman, you can find all these quotes on t-shirts that he has for sale now, of course, at the booth, oh, yeah. uh, which I think is great, and, and the people love it, and, and it's got to be uh, cool to you to see, obviously, uh, those fan base that's out there uh, still supporting you. Ronnie, let me bring you back to some of those bodybuilding days, though. You were going for that ninth title. Um, was it important to, obviously you wanted another Sandow, of course, and that's why you're up there, but was it important to you to beat Lee's title, or were you, obviously now looking back, are you content to share that stage with him? Well, you know what, it, it, it wasn't all about beat Lee's title, it was about winning in, in Mr. Olympia. Uh, beat Lee's title would have been great, but, you know, when I'm there, up there on stage, I'm, I'm, I'm competing against these other guys, and I'm, and I'm very competitive, as you know I won eight in a row. You know, so <laughs> a, a record is good, but I'm I'm, I'm being competitive. I, I want to win. And like I said, a record is good too. So it, it wasn't all about me trying to get number nine. It was about me trying to win a, a, a contest. Ronnie, right, uh, your training obviously, much like Dorian's, but is synonymous. Uh, with your titles, with being Ronnie Coleman. Um, again, a lot of those DVDs show you, you know, real training. It's not stage photo shoot training. This is real stuff. But um, what are your, one of my favorite stories about that you've told before uh, that you can maybe share with the audience today um, is that everybody thought there was some great strategy to do you doing lunges outside. Uh, tell everybody, why did you do lunges outside the parking lot? Well, in my training, I'm always looking to, to do something near, uh, different, and I'm always looking to do something, something new. When I first went to Metroflex Gym, uh, you know, Brian had these unorthodox training styles, so he first started me out pushing the truck up and down in the parking lot. There was a big yellow heavy truck, <laughs> and after a while that truck, it, it quit working. So I'm like, okay, I gotta find something to replace the truck. You know, I'm trying to build up my legs or whatever, so only thing with that was a bar. So I'm like, okay, I get a bar and you just walk up and down, but they ain't gonna do nothing. So I had to figure out how to add some resistance to it. 
So I just started lunging. You know, I couldn't squat because I, I had already squatted in the gym. I always did that on leg day. So I just started squatting up and down the park. He just took the place in the truck. <laughs> there it is, folks. So you thought there was some deep meeting there. The truck had no gas. <laughs> well, I pushed it from one side to the other. And then, of course, there was no room in the gym to do lunges like <laughs> that. My gym is very small, very small. And no room whatsoever. Well, apparently it seemed to do the trick. And put eight sandals on his mantle. Ronnie Coleman, everybody. Woo! Yeah.